but we'll see how it goes. Oh, are they on the opposite sides? <laughs> Alright, Steelix, are you player one? Okay. Okay. Every time. Swapping around, there we go. About to see which game it's gonna start on. Puyo. Get this start on Puyo. So we do, in fact, have Steelix on the left and we'll yep. go on the right. You can kind of tell by the speed uh, alone, but. Yeah, and I can I can see the game plan behind uh, Wumbo, Wumbo's Puyo placement, but you you can tell that there's a speed difference between the two players. Yeah, and he's going to fire it off just to try and uh, project his Tetris stack as much as possible. He's going straight for the 4 wide. Unfortunately, Steelix changed so much longer. That's a lot of garbage. Yes. But also, he changed so long that he's giving uh, one more time to actually build his uh, 4 wide. See if it's enough to defend. And Steelix's Tetris stack is really messy, so he's pretty much at a standstill for a minute. Although, he does have the triple. 11 combo. And he gets it on the swap. Oh, but so he's still dead. Still. He's... Oh, that's rough. Not able to build enough to offset that combo from Steelix yeah. to start. Even though, like he... Like I was saying earlier, like he basically used up all of his Tetris time to fight off of that garbage, so you can really utilize the timer well. But now we get the start on Tetris. Yes. You see Steelix going for the Albatross start, and uh, Wombo going for the forward well again. He has to send it off early. Yeah. Well, He's getting really, really high up. And, that's and he decided to eat some more garbage on Tetris just to protect his Puyo stack in the future. Now his combo is still going. He decides not to utilize the last bit of the comp. What's that? A Did that oh, wow. Did uh, Steelix eat all of that garbage in Tetris? Yeah. So... It's really, really scary for him on that swap. Yeah. It's going to come down to whether he gets his trigger for the swap or not. He has no purple. Well, does he have the... Oh, my God. That's it. Wumbo cut him off. That's the end. Might not be the end. He has enough room to down stack. But here comes the Tetris. Oh, T-Spin. Oh my god. Oh my god. Tetris. <laughs> Ooh, this is nice. The day is mine. One and one round. So quick, though. The pace is astounding. Another Tetris start. All right, Steelix is going straight for a T-Spin triple. He's just trying to go into a double as well. Yeah, he's trying to push up uh, Wombo stack as much as possible just to prevent him from building uh, too much of that four wide. Uh -huh. Yeah, of course he's to set it off early, yeah. but even so, it has so much ammunition yeah. to see. If you're not doing the four wide in response to a four wide, your only hope of countering it is just pushing up his stack really quickly, and that's so that um, they can't finish building a strong enough four wide. Oh my God. He can't Ooh. dig. But how long? Here comes a three chain. I don't know if he can survive another Tetris or another Tetris round. That garbage cutting off the purples. He can set up the chain. Yep. They're both pretty even on Tetris at the moment, but again, Wumbo is extremely fast. Oh, there's a misdrop that, that killed him. That killed him. The day is Wumbo takes the first round. On record to say that there's a missile crisis in North Korea that these two guys can solve, but they're using their brain power. <laughs> <laughs> you, you might be right. You might be right. Another Tetris start. And Steelix's start was not as strong as early. He went for the perfect clear. Yeah, and he had it. to convert it into a T spin setup. And it took him a while to do it. The well, though, not looking too great. Now it's clean, though. That's fine. And if he can dig out the garbage hole perfectly, he can end it with a Tetris. That RNG helping out Wombo, and it, it is coming down to the, the starting game, it seems like. I, I pity the loser's bracket. Let me just tell you that right now. Wombo has won every single Tetris start, and Celix has won the one Poyo start. That's kind of incredible. 
This is, that just makes me really wish that it would alternate on every single round, just so you, that you ensure that you have an even amount of both game starts. But that's neither here nor there. But in that case, then it would it would matter which goes first. Yeah, you but know? you wouldn't get a situation where every single round starts on the same game. Yeah. Steel is trying to defend. He should be alive for now. T spin double might do it though. He might try to. He might have to stall at this point. Oh! Oh! Oh. Not able to. If, if he had put the brakes on that a little bit earlier, he yeah. could have made it over to Puyo. He really needed that T-block, though. He had a double spin set up. But I, I okay, so it's a Puyo, Puyo start, start. Finally. All right, Steelix just has to murder him on the swap. Yeah. You don't want to eat that four wide again. And I can see Wombo has a... He has a GTR start down there, but it doesn't look like he has the right extension off of it to even fire it off. Steelix couldn't trigger. Oh, that's, that could be serious. Yeah, he Steelix going for a DT cannon. Uh, Wumbo going straight into the four wide. And there's the triple. So now Wumbo is forced to start. So what can that's Steelix build here? Not a lot. Did you catch if Steelix had a trigger waiting for him when he returns? No. I did not. Oh, he does not! That's the end, isn't it? That's it. That's the set. That's two! Wombo defeating Celix. The Tetris starts are too strong, and Steelix was unable to, to set off his Puyo chain that he set up. And that was the, the factor that meant and then decided it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone behind us is dumbfounded. <laughs> Even the people who were here for CEO, they're like, there's a level beyond? There's always more levels. Oh, man. Shout out to everyone who made it out, for sure. I will feel accomplished if I get top four. <laughs> Especially with people like that in the bracket. And we haven't even seen DDR Dan yet. Yeah. It's weird, I was watching those two play casuals a lot earlier, and it looked like Steelix had the upper hand consistently. But uh, Wumbo just pulled out all the stops. Yeah. Not sure if sandbagging or just... <laughs> Catching a glimpse of the rest of the venue right now. They got KOF on one stream and Skullgirls on the other. Waiting for another match. Can you see if they got another match for us? Can you see if they have another match for us? Kind of just barking orders at beverage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sensei. That was the guy from Ohio I was talking about. Is this tournament? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That would be kind of sick. You could get the Tetris attack, yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> like if this game supported USB keyboards, because a lot of Tetris players prefer that. <laughs> I, would, I wouldn't mind, just letting you know. I'll tell you this much, I pity the loser's bracket right now. I pity the loser's bracket right now. Steelix on there. Do we have a match? No. <laughs> Jabali's needed for losers, it sounds like, and he's a little bit reluctant to step back up. Go check with the bracket runner.
Looks like we're ready. So Naro was a fairly solid player we saw on stream earlier. Set Naro? Yes. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, DDR Dan, sign in as um, Sore Thumbs. And like I mentioned earlier, DDR Dan was third place at EVO. Uh, loser's final in that tournament was very close. Grand final was not. <laughs> Alright, they're just gonna jump straight into it. Dan player one said Setnaro. 